Howdy doody, my name is Cameron, better known as Venus Theory, and today I'm here with my friends at UVI to show you around the new Hybrid 6000 soundware. Hybrid 6000 was inspired by the HT6000 synthesizer, but was updated with some more modern features to make for a pretty significant sonic palette from just this one collection. So today we're going to take a look at what it is, how it works, and of course have some fun along the way with some patch demos. So let's dive in and check it out. The library is made up of four instrument types. We have rhythm, bass, melody, and then three synth layers. At its core, the library is designed to easily create complex, multi-timbral patches using these four instrument types. However, you can run Hybrid 6000 as just a single layer synthesizer. In multi-instrument mode, each of these instruments can be accessed and controlled from this main interface. The main interface here has controls for the rhythm layer volumes, as well as volume level, mute, and solo buttons for each of the individual layers. To access an individual instrument layer, you can click the edit button to enter the layer editor. The rhythm layer here has controls for mixing the individual drums with level, pan, and pitch, as well as individual solo and mute controls, as well as controls for the decay and filter, and the sends for both reverbs and both delays. Moving down to the lower right, we have a few additional effects controls. We have a drive, which we can enable or disable, the EQ, which we can enable or disable, a hold function, as well as global sends for both reverbs and delays. In the upper right here, we can select a preset for the rhythm layer, we have the drum kit selection with a couple different ones to choose from, and we have the rhythm selection area, which has over 200 different MIDI files for a variety of electronic music genres that you can use to build out your rhythm section. Moving over to the bass layer here, for the bass, melody, and synth layers, there are 250 different sounds available in total, and each of the synth layers features controls for things like the envelope, the filter, filter envelope, as well as a drive, phaser, EQ, and the sends for the reverb and delays. All of these controls are more or less the same in each layer, but there are a couple of key differences. Namely, in the melody and synth layers, we have the ability to engage the chorus option. Every single sound inside of Hybrid 6000 was recorded with and without the original units chorus engaged, and switching between these sample sets is as simple as just clicking the chorus button. Moving down to the bottom, we have the arpeggiator section, and the arpeggiator has a few different key functions. First up is the mode. We have classic mode, which is just a traditional arpeggiator, or we can go into chord follower mode, which dynamically adapts the phrase based on the chord input that Hybrid 6000 is receiving. The steps of the arpeggiator can be set between a couple of different modes. We have single mode, chord mode, and bend up and down modes. This can be used to create a bit more of an interesting flavor to your arpeggiator with it functioning sort of like a sequence. So we can swap out these from being single hits to something maybe involving the chord, a bend up, and another chord here at the end, and we can turn that phrase into this. This allows for some very complex sequences from even simple arpeggiated patterns. The arpeggiator also features all the standard controls that you would expect for the individual steps like the offset, octave, and gate length. We also have several dozen presets to start from with the arpeggiator to get a pattern going. We have controls for the number of steps, the playback speed, the global gate length, the offset mode, which we can swap between semitone and degrees, and the octave range. Hybrid 6000 also has some effects that you can access with the effects menu up here in the upper right. If we go there, we have the global drive, compressor, equalizer, dual reverbs, and dual delays. These are the reverbs and delays you would see in the sends, and we can enable or disable any of these by clicking the toggle up at the top. Whenever you use Hybrid 6000 in single instrument mode, which we can do by going up to the preset library and going to single instrument mode, let's say we wanted to just use a synth, we can access that preset, and the UI will change based on the type of individual instrument layer that you've applied, but the global effects menu remains up here at the top right. Hybrid Hybrid 6000 is a great library for electronic music styles, and it comes with a ready-to-go factory library sorted into 11 different categories, with the 12th category being the individual instruments. So let's explore some of these sounds and hear what Hybrid 6000 has to offer right out of the box.
Of course, if you want to build your own patches in Hybrid 6000, you can certainly do that as well. You can use any of the factory presets as a starting point and go in and vary things like the sound selection, the arpeggiator preset, and the rhythm section, or build your own presets entirely from the ground up because the full sample library is accessible to you. And that is a look around the new Hybrid 6000 soundware from UVI. Hybrid 6000 is available now as a standalone product or as part of Vintage Volt 4. It runs inside of the free UVI workstation, and you can even open it in Falcon if you're ready to go on some real sonic adventures. If you want to check out Hybrid 6000 for yourself, you can find more information with the link down in the description below. So thank you for watching and hanging out with me here for a bit. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome.